Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. Discussing, of course, the week one of the NFL and some other news and topics that's going around. As you guys know, the opening week of the NFL was very crazy. We've seen, of course, the Chiefs and Ravens open up the week in a dramatic fashion. The game ending was Zay Likely getting the foot out. You gotta get two feet in. And he got his foot out of bounds and lost that game right there. Um, they had opportunities though, of course. We see Lamar Jackson had a chance um, to hit, um, who is that? Zay Flowers, I think. Zay Flowers ran like a little um, dig route. It was, a little, it was open, but I guess Lamar thought he was going to stop. And miscommunication, missed him on that throw. But uh, it was a very thrilling game. And then we seen, of course, the next day, on, on the, it was the Packers, it was the Eagles going at it in Brazil. A very wacky game. A lot of turnovers, a lot of mishaps happening. But the Eagles still found a way to go out there and win it. And then we seen, of course, a lot of games on Sunday. My Steelers getting a big-time win on shutting out the Falcons in the second half beating them 18 to 10 without any touchdowns which is crazy we also seen some shocking upsets like the patriots beating the Bengals. we've seen of course josh allen go out there looking like superman four touchdowns and hit the little hurdle over the cardinals in the game right there too as well you know this year he had to do a lot more because he lost stefan Diggs, lost gabe davis and i think it might be a blessing in disguise because he used to try to force the ball to gabe davis a lot six five target down the field stefan Diggs try to force the ball to them a lot like they're trying to keep those guys happy i think it might be a blessing in disguise a little bit for him because the way he's playing, I think maybe better. Ken Coleman, the young rookie, you can build it. You can build it in your system. Build it in your system and go out there and play. He made a big time catch on the sideline. It might help Josh Allen out in the long run. This could be the year Josh Allen finally wins his MVP. And as long as he keeps the turnovers minimal and go out there and keep showcasing his playmaking ability. And a lot of people said Josh Allen was overrated. They always hating on Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. Joe Burrow, all these quarterbacks like that. But mostly Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen, they get all the hate. I don't know because they are athletic quarterbacks. People always hate on them. Always saying, they all can do is run. They turn the ball over. Lamar can't throw. He don't can run. Josh Allen turned the ball over too much. He can't do. Those guys are amazing playmakers. When those guys on the field, they make big things happen. You know? Forget all the doubters. Forget all that stuff like that. When those guys on the field, they make big things happen. Big plays happen. Those are some game shooting pieces on your team. When you have those guys as your quarterbacks, you have a chance to compete for a Super Bowl every year. So it was good to see like a lot of those big time games like that. Andrew Richardson as well, big time game he had. I know he fell short, of course, to the Texans, but he went out there and he looked pretty good. Like he looked like he missed a beat. I guess so hopeful to see him get better and improve more with them. Jaden Daniels looked part of the best out of all the rookie quarterbacks. He looked poised and stuff. The commanders um still have a lot of things to do, a lot of work to get done. Um, but Jaden Daniels looked the best out of all the young quarterbacks. Um, Caleb Williams is out there playing. He did not look too good. He's trying to do some of that college stuff of spinning and spinning and got himself in trouble with the sack. I missed some throws too. Kenny Allen was open on a little go route and he missed that throw a little bit as well. So he had some throws he missed and some plays that maybe he could hit those plays. It'd be a little different story. They still won the game via defense, you know, and a rushing attack as well. But I think overall, Killer Williams will get better, you know, and um, come back more improved and help his team, of course, win more games like that and be more productive. Like his play, I think he has the talent to do so. But it was a crazy uh, opening week. Crazy opening week. For the NFL, we're going to see another week two right here. I think the first game is Bills and Dolphins on Thursday Night Football. A rivalry game. The last time they played it was crazy. It came down to the wire, so we're going to see if this game does the same. But some news I want to discuss, too, as well, of course, that Prescott signed a big-time deal. Big-time deal with the Cowboys. Um, that deal, I believe, was $230 million fully guaranteed, if I'm not mistaken. $230 million fully guaranteed for Dak Prescott. As you guys know, I'm gonna mention a video. I think I made a video like a few weeks ago, but talking about Dak, will Dak get paid? I mean, I made one on CD Lamb, and I remember a few days later he got paid. They went on Dak Prescott, and a few a few weeks later now he got paid too as well. So we kind of wondering if Dak Prescott will get paid. We get paid the big time bucks, and I think the Cowboys had no choice to pay him because look at Dak Prescott. Um, uh, his play style. Last year, he finished second in MVP. He was, he was an all-pro last year as well. He has phenomenal regular season stats. He always puts you in contention to make the playoffs every single time. He puts you in contention to get there. Now, in the playoffs, he might have struggled. Only, um, he's two and two in the playoffs, right? He won two playoff games, lost two like that. He might, he might, I think he's two and three or something like that. It's some crazy, it's some number that he is in playoffs. I think like two and four or something. I know they, he only got to the divisional round a few times. We beat the Bucks. And I think he beat the, he beat the Bucks. He beat the Rams too, I think, right? Maybe the Bucks and the Seahawks. And he might have beat, he lost to the Rams. I think. But he, he, had, he only had a few playoff wins, of course. Nothing dramatic, nothing crazy. But I think Dak Prescott still has potential and gives the Cowboys the best bet. And who else are you going to put out there? You see Trey Lance. A lot of Cowboy fans, even some Cowboy fans I know, he was saying, Trey Lance is better than Dak. He'll be better and ready than Dak. I know he's not. If he can start over there with the 49ers, he's not going to be able to start here with the Cowboys. He went out there in preseason, threw five interceptions in preseason. Five interceptions in preseason. Get some backups. 
So you already knew he was in better. After Jerry Jones saw that, he probably said, I'm going to get the checkbook out and going to write this check right now because I can't roll with that. I ain't going to better win with that. That press guy give you the best chance to win. If, if Jerry Jones sit his old ass down and take a seat back and let somebody else take over to him, let a young GM take over to him and make those big time tough decisions, stop being cheap all the time. Because like the star used to be able to pull people over, be like, okay, I can get people, dis people can get discounted contracts because I had a star. People want to play for the Cowboys so bad and win the championship so bad like the old days. But that don't work now. We haven't won the championship in almost 30 years. That does not work. So you need to start taking a seat back, let somebody else get in there, implement some stuff, and we'll see the team get better. But that's a suggestion. I don't think Jerry Jones will ever do that. Um, but we're also seeing Deshaun Watson, his contract is still one of the craziest contract. Him and Daniel Jones. Him and Daniel Jones have some of the best agents in the world, too. And also some of the craziest contracts. Um, because their contracts are not paying off. Daniel Jones have only thrown two touchdowns since he got paid that $40 million a year. Deshaun Watson has been not the same Deshaun Watson he was with the Texans. And now he have another thing happening, too. And Deshaun Watson is getting sued again for another assault charge. So it's just a lot of just ruckus, a lot of things going on with him. I don't know what the Browns going to do. The Browns had a quarterback in Baker Mayfield now. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to think Baker wasn't the guy. I, I seen his potential. I was like, he looked good. But I said, I feel like the Browns, he's not gonna be the guy with the Browns like that. I didn't really trust him too much. I feel like, I feel like he needs some new scenery to get better. And now he with the Bucks, and he got a new scenery. He looks very good. He went out there last year, threw 4,000 yards, played well, dumped to the playoff, won a playoff game as well. And then this year, started the year off four touchdown passes. We're gonna see if we can continue that up. So the Browns might made a mistake in paying him all that money. So we're gonna see what happens after that. Also, the Steelers, of course. Justin Fields, Russell Wilson, who will be the guy coming into um, week two. It's the Broncos. Fields did look pretty good. Managed the game well. Uh, I think he was the first quarterback since Cam Newton and Roger Starback to rush for 150, to throw for 150 yards, rush for 50 yards with no turnovers as well. So he went out there and played pretty good football, a clean football as well, and used his legs when it was necessary. Um, just, I think Russell Wilson has been dealing with this cap injury for a while. He played in preseason um, games and stuff. But this past week, he looked very stiff like that. So they, they didn't know if he was going to play or not. So they went out there, started just in fields, and fields went out there and played pretty solid. So we're going to see and monitor that situation right there. But yeah, that's really um, all I have for the top topics of the week right here so far. As you guys know, the week goes on. There'll be a lot of topics coming in. And I'm going to be giving to you all the topics I can as, uh, as the week goes on, time goes on. So be on the lookout for that. A lot of NFL news. Like I mentioned before, too, the basketball days for me is on Monday. Monday morning, I'll be doing basketball news and updates. So every Monday morning, I'm also going to be focused on football majority of the time. Now, if anything crazy happened in the basketball world, NBA, the NBA college, or something like that, something crazy happened, I might discuss it then. But until then, it's going to be on Monday night. So do, Monday morning, I meant to say. So be on the lookout for that. But that's all I have for today's video. If you like it, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.